Sure. Hey, it's your girl Nessica, and welcome back to the channel, y'all. So today, you guys, I'm here in my bedroom uh, doing this video. So today, you guys, I'm coming in with a TV haul. I got two of my package in. I got two out of four package in today. Uh, it's supposed to have been three. For some reason, they rerouted one of my pa my packages, and I don't understand it. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this package. But first, how are you guys doing today? Myself, I am doing just fine. Let's go ahead and get into this package. I think it's, I don't know how many uh, items in this package, but let me get my cell phone or my iPad, one of them. I, I get my iPad because it's bigger and I can see it better. So let me see what's all in this package so I can give you guys the price on everything on how much everything costs and stuff like that. I was sitting in here watching all the uh, Queen memes. That is so freaking good. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is the very first order that I had uh, purchased right here. So, in all, everything was $43.89. And I went on to pay cash for everything. And I got eight items in this here uh, package that I'm about to show you guys. So, we're going to go ahead and start with this right here. It came in this box. Okay, these here are the... Um, these here are the LED motion uh, sensor light. And they are battery operated. You can put them in your bedroom, bathroom, kitchen... Your stairwells or wherever you want to put it. So these are the lights in here. So this is how they look like this. And I'm going to install these here in my bedroom, which I will uh show you guys how I uh how I'm going to install them. So yeah, it take three AAA batteries, and they did come with these little sticker things to put on the back back here. But what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a screw in mine so that, that they will stay because I did have a hard time with the ones. Well, I wouldn't say a hard time. They, Well, I guess I could say a hard time because they kept on falling off the ceiling. So I was like, hmm, what, should, what I need to do? So I got some little bitty uh, small screws and I screwed the top into the uh, ceiling and then I just placed it on there like that, you know, and that would uh, help me. So, yeah, and these lights right here was $5.69, and I paid $4.31 for these here uh, lights. So, you can either get a three-piece or a six-piece of these LED motion sensor lights. So, okay, y'all, I am up here in the ceiling, y'all. Pray that I don't fall, so I'm getting ready to uh, put these here uh, lights into the ceiling right here. So I'm just going to uh, do one on camera and then just do the other three off camera. I'm not quite sure why I want to put the other two because I'm putting four in here because I got six in all. I don't know where I'm going to put the other two yet right now. And I do got my little small nail. Oops, just that one. <clears throat> got my drill. So now I'm going to put the light on there. Okay, there you go. Let's see what it worked. There it is. Boom. Now I'm going to turn it off. Back on and off. And then I will put the other ones up later. And then next, you guys, I went on and got these right here. It's the two-piece refrigerator door handle uh, cover. And I paid two dollars and eighty eight cent. I was partially refunded for these, and so now they two dollars and sixty eight cent. So I was refunded what twenty some cent, something like that. These right here go on your refrigerator, which I will be uh, doing a review on these as well, showing you guys how to put these on your refrigerator. After I got the gray ones, because I was going for like a little great situation in my uh kitchen i should have had got the i was thinking about the black ones at first but then you know i guess everything will work out uh 
just fine. So I got these. These here go on the refrigerator uh, handles. So I do have it on there. But as you can see, it is a little bit too big. But I think I'm going to cut it. I'm going to measure it and then I'm going to cut it so that it can fit proper. And then next, I went on and purchased me some sunglasses. They just like some ones that I had showed you guys once before. I had about the red ones, the blue ones, the white ones, the, yeah, the red ones, the blue ones, the black ones. No, I never did get the black ones. These might be the black ones here. Yeah, these are the black ones. I got the red, blue, red, blue, and white ones. And I lost the red ones somewhere. I believe they in my daughter's car, but she said she hadn't seen them in her car so i did repurchase the red ones which those glasses will be in my next two packages that's uh coming in so these are the glasses right here right here so and i love the way these glasses feel i like the way that they fit they uh they gotta loosen up on my face because they is you know when you first get a pair of glasses they do be like they either gonna be a little bit too big or they're gonna be a little uh tight to the face but you know they feel pretty good i'm like i'm hey i can't wait to uh sport these here glasses this summer and then next you guys y'all uh saw me purchase one of these here once before it's the the it's the dispenser it, it dispensed the perfect amount of dish soap every time and it does and i have one in my kitchen already but the top of it is black but i went on and got the one with the white top which i'm gonna show you guys it holds 13 ounce of soap it's the soap pump and sponge caddy is what this is right here so yeah this is the white top and um when i had about the black one let me show you guys that one so this is the black top and this here is the white top. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to switch the white top over up to the black top. But so yeah, I really do uh, like this here. It works so good. I just love it, you know. Okay, so like I was showing you guys, this here is soap dispenser here. I got the white one here and I had the black one at first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the black one off here. And, and I'm just going to add the white top here. That's all I'm going to do. So, yeah, uh, let's move on to the next item. It came in this little box right here. This what is this? Okay, this is the thing that uh, I use to seal my uh, chips or whatever. So, I'm going to see, do this work? Is it battery operated? I'm sure it is. And this here come on the top of it, you know, so I can hang it up, you know. So, and I do have like a little thing to hang up stuff, my utensils and stuff. So, that'll be perfect because I do have like one more hook for something. And this here go right on there, which I will show you guys that. So, yeah. So, take that off. And let me uh, see do this thing work. I got to put some batteries in this sucker first. Okay, it got two sides to it. This side over here to the right, then this side over here. But well, what do I put my batteries, though? Okay, it did come with a little manual. A little manual right here. Okay. It's telling me how to use it. Okay, so now I'm going to use this here bag uh, sealer. It takes two AA batteries. Yeah, two AA batteries. So, I'm going to use this here bag of chips to see what this here work. I got to hold it down for a few minutes. It's, I'm reading it here. To seal, first remove the hook, which this is the hook. I already moved that. It said then press the heat for three seconds and then put it on here. This chip bag made funny. Let me cut it a little bit. So I'm gonna 
gonna hold it down for three seconds. One, two, three, and pull. Oh shit, it cooked the bag. Oh my god, maybe I'm using the wrong end. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I will use the wrong end. Okay, so hold it down for three seconds and pull. One, two, three. It didn't work. I'm gonna hold it down for three seconds. Get one, two, three. Let's try it again. One, two. This thing did not work. Okay. The bag, I mean, the sealer did not work on this because it's a little bit too thick. So I got three of them. I open them and I'm eating some of them and they so good. I used to hate these things, but they so good now. For some reason. This thing is not working. And next, I got the wireless hand mixer, which I have been looking at this here for a while. Like, even like when I first started shopping on Timu, I had wanted to get me one of these mixers. So, let me show you guys how it look. Okay, so today is Wednesday, and it's exactly 12 o'clock. So, you probably be hearing that uh, alarm going off. The tornado alarm is going off. I had to go get my little razor blade so I can cut this here and open it. So, yeah. Oops. Let's take that on out of there because it keeps falling. Okay, so this here is the wireless electric uh, egg beater. But you can use this to even beat up a cake or whatever. This is so cute. It's so sleek and unique. I like it. And then these are the uh, little to the little things that go with it and you stick them here in the front right here see that little hole in the middle stick these in there and then oh it's already working oh okay then it got like you can adjust it three times let's see one two three and off so it did come with two of these so i'm excited to get this here because the first one that i was looking at it was like a dark green like a hunter green type of color and so yeah i'm excited about this here and it did come with a usb card so you can uh charge it back up right here so yeah i was excited about this here little card too because since it's already running and then right here on the side right here if y'all can see it uh, that's where you put your USB cord right there. Yeah, there. So, yeah, I'm excited. I am so excited. I am going to beat up me an egg. I'm going to beat up something because I want to make sure this thing works. Do you hear me? And then you push this here, the on and the off button, right here. Okay. It works pretty good, and, and it does have like three speeds to it. 
And then next I got this, um, this here is the one piece silicone, uh, utensil rest with the dip pad for multiple utensils. It's heat resistant and it's BPA free, BPA free spoon rest and spoon holder for stove top kitchen utensil holder for spoons. So yeah, so I thought this here was cool, so I went on and got me this, so let me open it so I can show you guys how it look. So this is how it look like this. You can rest your spoons in these little holes here. I should have got the one like for the, t uh, for the top on your pot. I should have got one like that, and I might still get one for it. And then I could just rest my spoons and stuff on this right here. So, yeah, I thought this shit was, like, really, really cool. I really like it. Perfect. Okay, so the last thing in this bag, which I bought this here a big old bag, y'all. I didn't know this bag was going to be this big. This is the Trendy EVA Beach Bag Portable Waterproof Outdoors Tote Bag Solid Color Handbag for Travel, Shopping, and Sports. And let me see how much I paid for this bag. This bag here was $19.48 is what I paid for this bag. And I wanted this bag so bad for some reason. I don't know why I wanted this bag so bad. Look how big this bag is, y'all. Oh my God, but we do have a swimming pool, so I can put all my stuff in it. When I, uh, well, I don't know if we're going to be able to use the swimming pool this summer because of the tornado that came through here, so it'll probably be next summer when I, uh, and I really like it over here, so I'll probably be over here a couple years or whatever, because I really like it over here. Just as long as I can get me a parking spot over here, I'll be fine, but I really like it over here, or, um, or if I go... Uh, where my niece or where my daughter live at or whatever and then I can go swim over there with them and then you know if we go on a trip this summer the family trip um and then I can take this bag and throw all my stuff in it just like that so yeah, you guys that is it of this part of the Timu haul from the first bag so I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in checking out this video and I will see you guys in the next one so bye